My name's Ben, I'm Senior Engineer at Rosemore International and today I'm going to be showing you the service mode for the Rotomac ET15B. So starting at the top, we have the black feet, the white feet, the black ceiling strip, the green gliders, and the yellow jets. Okay, so these are the black feet. They're responsible for supporting the weight of the machine while you're moving up the step. Uh, it's important to check that these are in good, good condition, as you can see here, and that there's no metal exposed or they're not, they're not worn away. These are the white feet. Again, these support the weight of the machine as you're moving up to the next step. And the same thing, it's important to make sure that they're not worn down or shredded and that the metal is not fully exposed. This next part is the sealing strip. Uh, it's made of neoprene and it, it creates a seal against the vertical part of the step during the cleaning process. Now it's very important to check that this is in good condition and not missing or frayed or split because if it is, you'll get dirty water running down the face of the step. So next we're going to look at these green glide rails. Again, these support the weight of the machine as you're pushing it forwards into the cleaning position. Now these are crucial to make sure that there is no uh, screws exposed or that they're not snapped or missing or broken or worn down to the metal holders for them. Uh, if they are, you will leave big scratches in the, the escalator steps. These must be kept in premium condition. Okay, so next we're gonna look at these three yellow jets. Each one of these jets sprays the chemical at a 90 degree angle so that you end up with a full covering of detergent across the entire width of the brush. It's very important to keep these three yellow jets perfectly clean because as you're cleaning an escalator, dirt is going to build up on those yellow jets and if you don't clean it off afterwards, it's going to dry on there. The next time you come to, to use the, the cleaning machine, it's not going to be able to spray chemical because there's dirt that's dried onto those jets. Uh, to remove one of these jets, you simply unscrew it from the housing. It's very easy to do and it just makes cleaning them a lot easier. And what you end up with is the, the holder and the jet itself. These jets, you can just soak them in warm soapy water just to clean any sort of muck or chemical residue off of them. And then they're good to put back in the machine. You'll notice there's two cutouts on the back of the yellow jet. Those interlock with the housing so that the jet is always pushed back into the correct position. So to replace the jet, just put it back inside the housing and it just screws on and you'll feel those two interlocks sort of match and then you know you're in the right position and it screws tight. If you don't get that in the right position, it, you'll notice that detergent will pour out of the, the jet that isn't fitted correctly. And obviously if you've got chemical pouring out of one jet, you're not going to get any spray out of the other two at all. You will have probably noticed that the, the ET15B has 15 rotating brushes underneath. Um, these are comprised of some Tynex brushes and some nylon brushes. Uh, the Tynex brushes, they, these are the sort of workhorse of the machine. They're, they're kind of semi-abrasive and they will actually, they do the physical sort of removing the dirt from the step. Whereas the soft uh, nylon brushes, they actually carry the dirt that's been removed from the step and they carry it back up to this vac tray here. When you're cleaning the machine after you've cleaned an escalator, it's very important just to check the condition of these brushes. If you notice that there's bristles missing from either end of the rail, you're obviously not going to be cleaning to the full potential because the machine won't be able to clean up to the full working width that it can do. Um, so it's very important just to check all these brushes afterwards that you haven't got clumps of bristles missing. Um, and just check that they are nice and uniformly dirty. If you find that you've got a dirty patch one side more than the other, it generally means that one of the jets is blocked and it's not spraying enough chemical into that area. So the way this machine actually recovers dirt from the brushes is as these brushes are going round, they wipe themselves against this static brush here, which is made of a, a much stiffer polypropylene. 
Uh, and as these brushes wipe themselves past it, they scrape the dirt from the brushes and deposit it here into the vacuum chamber. And it's from the vacuum changer, chamber that they're sucked up into the dirty water tank. Okay, so to remove the static brush for cleaning, we've removed the, the aluminium cover for it. They may be a little bit stiff to get out the first time as we do put a little bit of silicon around there just to prevent leaks. You just remove the aluminium cap and pull the brush out towards you. And this can just be rinsed again under a, a hose pipe or a tap. You don't really need to use soap on it. Again, it's just gonna be dried dirt on there. Uh, to replace it, it just goes straight back into the rail and just pushes into place. And the aluminium cap then just screws straight back in there. Okay. To change the brushes, you remove the two screws on the lower plate down here. Uh, this gives you access to the, the 15 rotating brushes. And again, they simply slide out. They're just on a rail. Um, and then to move, to get to access to the next one, just press the button, it brings the next one, and so on and so forth. So putting the, the brushes back in is just a reverse of, what, of, of taking them out, so they just slide back into the rail. You use the brush button to bring the next rail round. and then replace your aluminium cover. Okay. Okay, so if you come across any blue anti-tamper paint on the machine, that is obviously there so that you don't adjust those. Those have been adjusted at the factory and do not need adjusting by the end user. One final thing to keep an eye out for when you're cleaning the machine after use is the auto safety brake. Just check that the spring is really springy still and that the serrated face of it is clean and free from any sort of debris like lumps of aluminium or dirt because those teeth need to be able to grip the step in, in the event that the machine was gonna roll back on the steps. So now that we've talked about the, the static brush and the vacuum tray and how the static brush removes the dirt from the brushes into the, into the vacuum tray, uh, it is quite important after every clean just to put a pair of gloves on and run your hand up behind the vacuum tray and just remove any sort of built up sludge or gunk that may have sort of accumulated in there. As a final check, you can just check the tension of the, the chains that carry the brushes. You should be able to pull them about 10 millimeters from the machine uh, on both sides. It must be the same on both sides. Uh, if you find that the chains are so slack that you can pull the brushes out from the machine without removing the covers, then they are far too slack and you should call Rosemore International immediately. The entire brush chamber is completely waterproof, so when you finish cleaning an escalator, as part of your aftercare, you can, you can rinse this whole area with a, with a hose pipe, it's not really recommended, um, to just remove all the sort of gunk and grime from under here. Um, don't, be, don't be worried about you know, getting the motor wet, for example, as it is waterproof. Okay, so once you've finished cleaning the brush cage assembly, uh, don't be tempted to put any sort of oil or lubrication on these chains because they are made of stainless steel, therefore they won't rust. So to get the machine back out of service mode, I'm just gonna switch it on at the battery using the battery button and extend the legs. The machine's balanced in quite a way that you can just use the, uh, the weight of the machine to sort of counterbalance itself. Let it down nice and gently. The last bit to check is the, the, the chemical filter. Now this will be full of chemicals, so it probably will drip a bit as you remove the bowl. So I'm just unscrewing it now, as you can see. Inside there is a fine wire mesh. This just needs to be rinsed under warm water just to remove any sort of fluff or bits of chemical residue that are stuck in there. And to replace it, just locate it back in the bowl and screw it back onto the machine. So what we've got here 
is the six millimeter Allen key. This is used for setting the legs on the escalator. Um, this is just stored nicely and accessibly in the holder there for it. This here is your T10 power outlet socket. So if you've bought the T10 attachment for your ET15B, uh, you can use this socket to actually power your T10 travelator cleaning attachment. So looking at the, the main control panel of the machine, you'll first see the, the most obvious button is your emergency stop button. If you come across any sort of bad sounds, smells, anything happens that you're not happy with when you're cleaning an escalator or using this machine, press that button and you'll kill all the power to the controls of the machine and all the, the, the separate components. It'll just bring the machine to a, a stop. Uh, to reset that, you just turn it clockwise. As you can see, it brings power back to the, the controls. Next bit along is the hour meter. So this shows how many hours the machine's actually been cleaning for. So at the moment, you can see as this is a relatively new machine, it's just got just over one hour on there. All the machines come with an hour on them anyway because we test them for an hour before they're dispatched. Um, this button here is the vacuum test button. So you see, it's the noisiest button as well. Uh, that is just to test the vacuum system. If you think you may be having problems with it or you're not sure that the vacuum system is working properly, you can just press that button uh, just to test the vacuum. These two buttons here, we'll come to in a second, they actually lift and lower the machine. So pressing one will lift the machine up. Pressing the other one will lower it down again. You've got a chemical test button here. Pressing that will draw chemical through the machine and spray it out through those yellow jets. This is a brush test button. So pressing this button will just rotate the brushes. We use that button for, for changing the brushes that we showed earlier. Uh, you've got an auto start button here and also a stop button. Now obviously the stop button will just stop the machine during a cleaning cycle. Uh, and if you press auto start again, it will uh, continue cleaning. And you've got a battery on button as well. Um, so this, if, if, as long as the machine's not connected to mains power, which it is at the moment, um, you, you can turn the batteries on. If the machine is connected to mains power, the battery circuit will not turn on. All that's happening is the batteries are charging while it's connected to the mains. Uh, as you can see here, the auto start button, pressing this, what you'll get is chemical brushes and vacuum for a set amount of time. Now you'll see this four toggle switch here. So going back to program one, program one is 15 seconds. Program two is 30 seconds, program three is 45, and program four is one minute. Now what that means is you'll get brushes, chemical and vacuum for a set amount of time. If the, machine, if the escalator that you're cleaning is very dirty, then it might be advisable to put it on program four. If the, if the escalator that you're cleaning has only just been cleaned or it's just a maintenance clean, use programs one or two. Um, program three and four really are for a sort of uh, like a like an intensive clean. Um, programs one and two are sort of your maintenance clean, you know, just to keep it going. Just bear in mind that the the higher the number that you have this set to, the longer it's going to take to complete the, the full clean of the escalator. In this photo here, you can see the tools that come included with the ET15B, which are a stiff brush, a hand rake, and a wiping tool for wiping off excess foam residue from the steps. The pre-spray bottle is not included and is an optional extra. We use the pre-spray bottle for really dirty escalators. You can go up ahead of the machine, spray the steps, you know, agitate the chemical into the step and then let the machine come past and clean the, the heavy soiled areas with ease. Uh, talking about the auto start button, you'll notice at the moment it's not flashing. Now this is because if, because the, the legs haven't fully retracted up inside the machine, um, the, the machine's aware of that, it's got sensors underneath. So if, the, if, the, if you're on an escalator and you notice that the auto start button's not flashing, it means that the, the, the ET15B machine is not sat perfectly flat on the steps. So what you need to do is press the leg down button until those legs are fully retracted up inside the machine and then you'll notice that the auto start button is flashing again. And we're just gonna press it now so you can hear what, what sort of noise it should be making when you press that button. Okay, so that's one 15-second cycle, 15 cycle completed. 
So with the mains power disconnected, we can show you the, the battery on. So turn the machine to on escalator, press battery on. You have to wait sort of 10 to 15 seconds for the electronics to boot up. Once they've booted up, you, you'll be able to get power to the legs. Now the battery backup feature only operates the legs and it's designed so that you don't need mains power to remove or, or even load a, a machine onto the escalator. It's, it serves as a fail safe so if you find that you've, you've had a loss of power when you're actually on site cleaning, um, you can still remove the machine from an escalator in the event of an emergency. Uh, you'll also notice that you've got an on travelator switch. Again, this, this now will switch, switch the whole console over to travelator cleaning mode. And that's where you would plug your T10 travelator attachment into this socket here um, with it turned to on travelator. <laughs> Part of the video we're going to show you the t10 attachment uh, this simply clips onto the brackets on the the trolley for your et15b and attaches to either side of the t10 attachment there this is used for just cleaning the flat parts of an escalator or the flat parts of a travelator and it does it while the escalator or travelator is in motion so it can be used to, to clean uh, an escalator or travelator very very quickly so the only controls that we will need to use for cleaning the travelator or the escalator using the T10 is uh, the auto start and the on travelator position. All the other buttons become irrelevant at this point. Um, so we'll switch the, the key switch to its second position, which is on travelator. First thing we're going to do is take the red plug from the T10 and plug it into the outlet on the ET15B, like so. And we're gonna take the chemical hose and we're going to plug that into the outlet on the ET15B. Okay the next step, just move the power lead out of the way, so we need to remove the chemical tank. It's the same dilution ratio as before, 10 to 1. We're going to drop this in, resting the tank on the handle like that and then lowering it so it's resting on the handle and the, the edge of the hood there. Same again with this, remove that vacuum hose. Get this tank out. So pull with lots of slack on that vacuum hose there, so pull that out and rest it to one side. Resting it onto the handle first, and then back onto the tank. And then I'm taking the hose out from the ET15B and attaching it to the back of the vacuum tank lid. Now I'm going to take the hose from the T10 and place that into the front connector there. Okay, with all that set up, you would then drop this down and on the back so that the brushes are sitting nice and flat onto the steps. 
For the purpose of this demonstration, however, because we're not actually sat on a travelator or escalator, I'm just going to raise it up onto the wheels. And we're going to operate it like this. So the final step is to plug in the chemical, same as you would with an ET15B. And you'll notice that the auto start button is flashing rapidly. This shows us that it's ready to clean. So when I push that button, it's going to start the brushes on the T10 cleaning head. It's going to give us vacuum from the ET15B and also chemical from the ET15B, and it's going to provide that at the cleaning head. So I'll press, I'll press this button now. This is the T10i. This is the independent machine for cleaning travelators and the horizontal parts of escalators. It's the T10 attachment with its own power supply and water supply essentially. So I'll turn it around and show you. Okay, you'll see a similar control panel. As you can see, it's a similar setup to the ET15B that you have your clean tank and your dirty tank. The ratios are exactly the same, so it's 10 litres of water to one litre of chemical. Uh, and again, you empty this one whenever you refill this one. The same applies to this, do not let it overfill. If you do that, you may damage the vacuum system. Looking at the control panel, you've got the pump button, the vacuum button, and you've got the auto start button. And when you press the auto start button, you're gonna get chemical, vacuum, and the brushes will also turn on. Uh, on, on, the, the, on the T10 head there. You've also got the emergency stop button, so the same applies. If you hear anything, smell anything, see anything you don't like, push that button in and it will cut the power to the controls, just like that, uh, and you turn it clockwise to reset it. Using the T10i is almost exactly the same as using a T10, um, so we'll set it up and show you it now. So attaching the cleaning head to the T10i couldn't be easier. Take these two stainless steel pins, drop them in the hole. And then take your chemical hose, plug that into there. Your red plug goes into the socket on the machine and your vacuum goes into there. Same as before with the T10 on the ET15B. We'll Drop the machine down by lifting the wheels. And then we're ready to continue with the cleaning. Okay, so the next step is to turn the travelator on towards you. And then press the auto start button. If after shimmying the machine, you notice that the bristles are trapped under the green glider, do not start the cleaning process. This will ruin your brushes very quickly. Instead, raise the machine up an inch, press the brush button, and draw the bristles back inside the machine again. When you're happy that they're back inside the machine, lower it down. To get the machine from one side of the escalator to another, we have to do what's called shimmying. Now, it's not very elegant, but it is efficient. So to do this, we raise the machine up about an inch and we push down on the handles and we lift and push. Hence the word shimmying. In this next step, I'm going to show you how to set the legs of the machine to suit the escalator that you're going to be cleaning. Uh, as you can see, I've set this machine down on some steps and looking at the green glide rails there, they are not sat flat on the step. So if I was to start cleaning like this, uh, the cleaning results wouldn't be very good at all. To start by setting the legs, use your six millimeter Allen key to first slacken off the left black foot. Raise this foot up as far as it will go and then lock it off again. With the other three remaining legs, just loosen those off. Okay. 
Okay, so now we've lifted up and locked the rear left black leg and loosened the other three legs, we can press the machine down button and you'll notice that the machine sits flat on, on the escalator steps. With the green gliders sat perfectly flat on the step, we can now loosen the rear left leg until it drops and then re-tighten it again. These do have to be quite tight to avoid slipping. Now we can proceed to tighten the other three remaining legs. Repeat the same on the other side. And that's the leg setting complete. Hi, I'm in Paddington Station in central London, one of the four major railway terminals in central London in the UK. This is the Rotomac ET15B and I'm going to show you how to use it. First thing I'm going to do is use these two buttons here, this one in particular, to lower the wheels on the machine to stabilise it so I can remove it from its transport trolley. So if I press this button, So the wheels are down. I'm now going to go to the side of the machine, remove this pin and slide out this rail. I'm going to place them just down here for safety. And now I've done that, I can easily separate the machine from the transport trolley. It just slides away. So we've removed the ET-15B from, a from its transport trolley and our trained escalator operator has kindly made the escalator stationary for us. It's not moving. So we can now approach the escalator with the machine. Like so. Very easy to move. And we're going to go into the centre of the step. And we're going to stop. Radu, who has been trained to operate escalators, is going to put the ET-15B into its correct position and he's going to start the escalator and take the machine by, up, up the escalator by five steps. Five complete steps with visible treads and risers. And he's now stopped the machine in the correct position for us to start the cleaning procedure. The next sequence we call the next step. We're going to move the machine up to the next step. We do this by pressing the ascend, the up button, to raise the machine until it stops as far as it can go upwards. We're then going to roll the machine forwards until the wheels stop on the next highest step. Lower it by pressing the descend button. Once the machine comes to a stop and it's resting on the escalator, we're going to slide the machine forward as far as it will go. Now we've done that, we're going to look underneath the machine along the sides of the green glide rails. These should be perfectly flush with the escalator for maximum cleaning performance. If this is not the case, repeat the setting procedure with the legs should the guide rails not be sitting flat on the step. It's really important, I must emphasize at this point, that the brushes, the bristles from the brushes, must not be trapped between the glide rails and the escalator step. If when you look you find this has happened, simply raise the machine, press brush for a couple of seconds and lower the machine again. 
Remember to secure the ET15B, shimmy it to the middle of the step and disconnect it from the mains and disconnect the mains cable before moving the escalator. I'm now going to demonstrate, with the help of Radu, the shimmying procedure as we call it, so that we can locate the machine on the opposing side of the escalator to clean the other half of the escalator. How we're going to do this is by raising the legs an inch or so and pushing down and up on the handle to manoeuvre it across the step. Once he's over this side of the, of, of the escalator, we simply repeat the cleaning procedure to do the other half of the escalator. If you encounter an especially dirty escalator, we provide uh, pre-spray bottles uh, so that you can spray four steps at a time in advance of using the machine on those steps. This can also be useful in especially hot climates. We provide manual cleaning tools to attend to any particularly awkward spots that require special attention on rare occasions where that might be necessary. Now we've got the escalator back to its as new appearance, we can return it to its transport trolley. This is achieved by lowering the machine at the top of the escalator, located in the center of the step. We switch off the machine with the key. We remove the power cable. And then our trained escalator operator sets the escalator in reverse downwards and stops it at the bottom on the flat part of the escalator like so in the event of a power cut the Rotomac ET15B has a battery backup so it can still be moved If that happens, you simply switch on the machine with the key and press the battery button. This can also be useful in returning the machine to its transport trolley. And as soon as we're ready, we can lift the brake and gently roll the machine off the escalator and then return it to its transport trolley. Now the machine can be returned to the transport trolley and our task is complete. I'm Effie Rosen from Rosemont International. Our aim is that everybody will use the language to do escalators or travelators. Deep cleaning, automatic, is to do for the future for everybody to know it. If we talk about network rail, they've been existing for 150 years, but the inspiration of people that they doing for us, for me particularly, is Richard Bronson and James Dyson. And we want to be able to, for the future, the Rotomac to be used everywhere as a tool to clean all. The Rotomac is consists of three machines, which is the ET15B and the T10, which is connected, and the T10I, which is independent. And we want, technically, for the people around the world, to be online training and what we're doing right now is to work together with all the people and get the feedback that everybody's going to be happy using it and the all the information is available to all and thank you for to be our customer for 16 years we've done four models and we'll continue to do that and we want to develop it to a robotic and battery operated and all what the technology, advanced technology will let us do.